Um, I don't want to go through and say the same thing said everything I agree with to this point. I want to elaborate on a couple of things. Senator Kelly mentioned something too about um, the people having some say. For me, I get about 12 to 15 to 1 for my constituents who are opposed to this to those who support this concept. Part of that's because there is no roadmap. We know where we want to go, but there's no roadmap to get there. Secondly, uh, what Representative Candelora mentioned, this is, you talk about the 100 miles for a truck. I represent a community that's the largest town in the state. It's over 60 square miles to get around to Milford. So as Representative Callahan mentioned, you talk about the, the rest stops all over, that's one thing. But now you talk about the rural communities and how much this is going to hit every one of those rural communities. And not even be able to get up and down your own town twice. So that's a concern. My bigger piece of this, we've heard from, uh, from the energy leadership as well as from the governor's office about the three-legged stool. Everybody remembers a three-legged stool, right? We talk about uh, reliability and dependability of the grid combined with a green grid and making that financially solvent for everyone. We're sitting on one leg here. And that might be the biggest problem. We don't have a grid that can support it. And fiscally, this number is already going through the roof. It's only getting higher. When you think about that piece of it, the infrastructure needs to be upgraded now. Imagine how much more that goes through it, right? How much more energy we have to push through it. We can't produce that much energy on the grid, and the system we have can't support it. So my question would be, how do we fix that stool from sitting on one leg? Because right now, I'm not sitting on that stool. I'm too big for that. <laughs> so thank you very much.